3D scans and then send them off to the 3D printer. It's pretty cool. So can you show us in action? Would you like a 3D <laughs> scan of yourself? Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so if you could stand just right over here, just yeah. by the X. Which way? Anyway. <laughs> like that? Yep. Okay. Keep going. Yep. <laughs> okay. If I could take your name. It's Ian. Ian. Oh, Ian with the camera. Uh, yeah. That's, that's pretty good, that. There you go. <laughs> see the camera, you can see me holding up the foot camera now. There you go, there you are. Not as high res, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, that is amazing. It's fundamental to the So then once you've got an image, then what? Then you can print it out? Yeah, then we can send it to the 3D printers. Yeah, you need to work in your workflow. <laughs> you need to um, put it in through some uh, rendering software to fill in the gaps. Yeah. Then you, from there you need to um, then if you wanted to print it you'd have to kind of cut it out and stick it clean. To clean it out, chisel up bits, and then yeah. stick it on a plimp so it can stand up. Yeah. Then put it into um, effectively a print modeler, print modeling software, which you then from there print with. Yeah. I mean, there's some guys, the guys we're talking to are in the next hall who kind of set this all up. And I guess it feels like it's where printing was around 25 years ago if you're old time yeah. like us. Yeah, that's what we were just saying actually. It's like another maybe 10 years, this is just such a consumer technology that people take for granted. Yeah, yeah, totally. But at the moment, it's, it's just. You need to know what you're doing, and yeah. I, I'm the one who put this together, and I don't. And I, <laughs> uh, after my quarter, guys, uh, it was uh, it was even clearer just how how in the dark we were. But it's great to make.